This segment of Tomorrow Life is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. You know, getting engaged is one of the most memorable times in a person's life. It's also a moment that many want to shout from the rooftops when it happens. So some turn to Facebook, others send pictures and texts, and in this day and age, many get professional photos done to commemorate the event and send save the date announcements. Yeah. Well, it certainly is a precious moment. And if you're like most people, before the engagement stage came, another big step, owning a pet together. You know, your little fur baby. Well, as you're going to see in this next story, a dog named Louie wasn't taking backseat to anybody. Here they are. I did save them over here. Choosing the right engagement pictures is a big decision for any couple. I like that one the best, I think. That's the one. You're looking for your favorite spot, the two of you kind of in your natural element. Megan and Chris wanted a photo that captured their soon-to-be family. It just made sense to have them in the pictures because he's our dog. They just never expected Louie to overshadow their moment. Oh my gosh. He's really photobombing. Yeah, I knew he was going to be in the shot. I didn't know he was that much in the shot. <laughs> well, second thought, this six-year-old dachshund has a way of commanding attention. Oh, get you. Get you. At home, you might even say Louis the alpha. After all, he came into Megan's life first. I feel like Louis always just kind of like that, that anytime I go to, like, touch Chris, he's like, no, I want to be pet. Maybe you've noticed how Chris is the only one perfectly blocked from view. You know, usually if somebody's face was blacked out, we wouldn't deliver a picture, but this one's obviously, the Louis picture is <laughs> obviously a special, uh, special case. Photographer Karen Berdahl knew immediately this was not the normal engagement photo. I thought it was hysterical right off the bat, but I had no idea it would become what it has become. The odds of capturing it again? Unlikely. One in a million maybe sounds a little dramatic because we didn't take a million pictures, obviously, but it's not every day that you get a shot like that. Every bride-to-be wants those picture-perfect moments, but sometimes... Looks like she's trying to kiss him instead of me. It's the imperfections that make the greatest memories. Now, Chris and Megan's wedding is this December. If you'd like to see more of their engagement photos with Louis, you can just go to our website and click on our picture right there at the top of the page. Yeah, that's going to be one to show the kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, you know, in order to get photo bombed by your dog or cat, you need to have one. And if you don't, we take care of that today. And we're going to help you find one in today's Pet Connect. Our first stop is at Baywater Animal Rescue in Cambridge. That's where you'll find Bridget, a four-year-old domestic short hair cat. It's taken some time for Bridget to trust people because she was thrown from a car. Mm. But now she shows plenty of affection and doesn't mind being held. Now, Bridget is a bit of a loner, though, and would probably do best in a home without other animals. You'll also find Wanda at Baywater. Two-year-old pit bull mix. Wanda and her brother Cosmo were tied up, left alone, very poor conditions. But since coming to Baywater, their luck has started to change. Cosmo's been adopted. Now Wanda's looking for her forever home. She would love to go to a family that would let her run and play and would do best in the house without other pets or small kids. Lastly, at Baywater, we have a dozer, an eight-month-old beagle. Dozer has a little bit of a limp. It's only because he previously had a broken leg. Now, it has healed. That injury has not slowed him down. Dozer loves to give kisses, and if you like beagles, you're going to love Dozer. Oh, look at his face. And moving over to the Humane Society of Wicomico County, we have Benji, a three-year-old male Lhasa Apso Terrier mix. At first, Benji may be fearful of people, but it doesn't take him long to roll over for belly rubs. <laughs> because of his timidness, he might not do so well with children. And last but certainly not least, Uzo is also at the Wicomico County Humane Society. Uzo is a three-month-old domestic short hair cat. We're told Uzo is sweet and playful. Look at her. Just look at that face. Uzo. Uh, if you missed any of the animals featured in today's Pet Connect, just go to our website, WWOC.com, and click on our picture there at the top of the page. Okay, so we have a cutie to cuddle with on the couch. Now we need some comfort food, huh? Mm-hmm, and this ought to do the trick. Up next, we are in the Del Marble Life Kitchen making roasted cauliflower soup with a cheddar crostini and an Indonesian rice pudding to go with it. Del Marble Life will be right back. 